What if I was to tell you that there is a major problem with the internals of nearly every modern building we build today? Technology has advanced dramatically in dealing with high wind loads and seismic forces on our buildings, but we have a long way to go to protect the internal spaces where we live, work, and play. The often unnoticed or unspoken truth is that while concrete and steel building structures are effectively designed to sway in the wind and accommodate earthquake forces and thermal contractions, the internal framing systems installed within those structures are not. Current framing methods include base tracks fixed to the floor slab structure and to the wall studs, and deflection head tracks fixed to the floor structure above and not fixed to the wall studs. This allows for vertical deflection of the floor structure above. However, its attempt to accommodate the in-plane movement is to drag the head track along the top of the stud wall, which makes sense until it meets another wall. The head tracks on the in-plane and out-of-plane walls move at the same rate as they are both fixed to the same floor structure above, so the out-of-plane wall is pulled out of vertical alignment. The inflexible lining board is then pulled apart at the corner joints, tearing open cracks creating creaking sounds as the framing bends and twists out of shape, cracking of inflexible lining boards, tearing of waterproofing membranes, and fire seals. Current framing methods have not been designed to account for movement in the in-plane and the out-of-plane direction. Because the four walls are all connected and boarded together to create rooms, they must be isolated from all movement in all directions, which means they must be completely isolated from the floor structure above. Introducing the Intex Qubit 360 Total Frame Isolation System, the world's first internal wall system to accommodate building movement in all directions. It simply replaces conventional deflection head tracks with this innovative new design, which features circular perforated cutouts which are snipped out quickly at the designated anchor points. The head track is fixed to the studs. A wall deflection bracket is then inserted and fastened into the structure above with an isolation screw anchor. The bracket can accommodate vertical deflection with the isolation screw anchor sliding through the bracket. Self-adhesive fire seal tape can be applied to the top of the head track when required. The bracket can slide in plane to accommodate the in plane movement and it can deflect out of plane to accommodate the out of plane movement in effect accommodating all three axes of movement at the same time, resulting in 360 degrees of isolation from the floor structure above. Lining boards can then be fixed directly to the head tracks. Conventional steel stud drywall ceiling systems can then be installed for smaller spanning areas and for larger spanning areas or where minimal gaps are required between the soffit and ceiling board. This innovative new isolation suspension module is used featuring designated anchor points to quickly fix into the floor structure above, and threaded rod to connect onto conventional suspended ceiling components. It can slide in plane to accommodate the in plane movement, and it can deflect out of plane to accommodate the out of plane movement. In effect, accommodating all axes of movement at the same time, resulting in 360 degrees of isolation from the structure above. The result is a higher level of safety and comfort with an internal framing system that's more resilient, more economical, more sustainable and fully compliant, providing far less risk of cracking lining boards, tearing waterproofing membranes and fire seals, creaking sounds as the framing bends and twists out of shape, and costs involved to deal with these conventional framing method symptoms. For more information on the revolutionary isolation system, visit us online at intexinternational.com.